Return plans for Cody Rhodes changed. Sami Zayn saves Kofi Kingstone's career on SmackDown. Update on contract talks between Triple H and Naomi. Unfortunate update on Veer Mahan's WWE future under Triple H, AEW's Malachi Black to join Bray Wyatt's new faction, and more. Let's jump right into it. Sami Zayn saves Kofi Kingstone's career on SmackDown. Former Intercontinental Champion Sami Zayn recently defeated former WWE Champion Kofi Kingston after the latter encountered a potential career-ending botch. Zayn has become a staple of the bloodline in recent weeks after being bestowed with the title of honorary use. The former Intercontinental Champion has been at the forefront of the stable's activities. However, he is not liked by Jey Uso, who doubts his loyalty. This week on SmackDown, Zayn was set to face Kofi Kingston and was accompanied to the ring by Jay. The New Day kicked off the show with Kofi Kingston reminding fans of their record-breaking tag team title reign. Xavier Woods then claimed that this record is their legacy. Sami Zayn was then shown backstage praising Solo Sokoa's reliability. He then again started arguing with Jey Uso for not helping him win on Raw. The match between the two men was quite exciting. Zayn dominated the early part of the match. However, there was a moment in that could have been fatal for Kofi Kingston. The former WWE Champion climbed to the top turnbuckle and went for what looked like a hurricane runner but missed Zayn. Luckily, the former Intercontinental Champion managed to catch Kingston, which softened his fall to the mat, thereby preventing him from potentially falling on his neck. Kingston continued the match like nothing had happened and was his usual high-flying self. However, the honorary use emerged victorious with some help from Jey Uso. Jey helped Zayn to reverse a roll-up from Kingston and pick up the win. It will be interesting to see if this match will set up a feud between the Usos and the New Day. Do you think Sami Zayn is the most entertaining part of the bloodline? Sound off in the comments section. Speaking of Sami Zayn, the honorary one thinks the bloodline will never kick him out. Let's find out why, and also sound off below if you agree with him. Sami Zayn recently revealed why the bloodline has been so kind to him and hasn't kicked him out of the group even after multiple losses. Earlier this year, Zayn vowed to join the most dominant stable in wrestling, the bloodline. After pleading and taking hits for the group, Roman Reigns finally acknowledged him and officially made him an honorary use, even though Jey Uso was against the decision. Last week, Reigns gave Zayn additional duties to handle Jey Uso's anger issues. Speaking on WWE Deutschland, the Liberator opened up on why he hasn't been kicked out of the group even though he lost on numerous occasions and hasn't held any gold from either brand. You know, I'm still here doing better than ever. We're all closer than ever, except again maybe Jay. You know, I don't think in my case it's necessarily about that. It's not that kind of a conditional thing where if you can't bring the IC title or you can't bring the US title to the bloodline, you're not valuable. That's just not the case with me. Fortunately, Zayn has been given the utmost respect by the tribal chief as the two have been quite familiar with each other since their days on the black and gold brand. In 2016, Sami Zayn became a full-time member of the roster where he joined the red brand. After years of spending time on both the brands, Zayn turned against the crowd and won the Intercontinental Championship on a number of occasions before joining the bloodline. After becoming an honorary use, Zayn focused his attention on working on his relationship with Jey Uso. Speaking on WWE Deutschland, Zayn opened up about his relationship with the head of the table, Roman Reigns, it's going really great. And he's another guy that I've gotten along with great for the last 9 minutes 10 years as long as I've known him. We've always gotten along very well. It will be interesting to see how beneficial Sami Zayn will be to the bloodline in the coming days. Do you think Sami Zayn will betray the bloodline? Sound off in the comments section. Sasha Banks' appearance change resembling Becky Lynch While there seem to have been rumors of positive talks about Sasha Banks returning to WWE, she seems to be in no rush to make it back to the ring. Ahead of Los Angeles Fashion Week, the boss debuted a brand new look, resembling her old rival, Becky Lynch. Sasha Banks has been involved in various projects ever since she took a hiatus from WWE. A couple of months ago, she and Naomi controversially walked out following a major disagreement over WWE's plans for the women's tag team titles. The championship was vacant for months before being won by Raquel Rodriguez and Alia, who subsequently lost it shortly after to damage controls Io Sky and Dakota Kai. Banks previously appeared in New York Fashion Week and is now making her mark on LAFW. Photographer Lucky Lot took captured the boss with a brand new look as the latter now has orange flame-like hair. It resembles the man Becky Lynch. Fans were quick to point out that her look is quite similar to that of Becky Lynch's. The boss has undergone a few appearance changes as she has been involved in Fashion Week runways and various modeling projects. Since her hiatus from WWE, she has been seen with black, brown, and now orange hair. While it would certainly fall under the fantasy booking category, fans would love to see Banks and Becky Lynch team up. 
However, given their importance as single stars on the women's roster, it seems unlikely that the two will ever pair up as a tag team. If anything, we may simply see them form an alliance. With that said, they seem to work a lot better when they are on opposite sides of the ring, as they have proven with multiple classics in the ring. Are you a fan of Sasha Banks' new look? Voice your thoughts in the comments section below. Update on contract talks between Triple H and Naomi. The contract negotiations between WWE and Naomi have reportedly stalled. According to a report from the Wrestling Observer Newsletter, there are deal points in the newly offered contract that have not yet been finalized. Naomi's original contract with the company is set to expire soon, and while things have slowed down at the moment, the sides are still in talks. Naomi's old contract prevents her from signing another promotion until it expires. The company could opt to freeze the contract for the time missed. It was reported earlier today that both Naomi and Sasha Banks' contracts are still up in the air, but WWE and Triple H were expected to offer the former SmackDown Women's Champion a new contract. As of now, there remains no concrete update on whether the former women's tag team champions will return to the company or not. Sasha Banks and Naomi walked out of the company ahead of the May 16th edition of Raw. The two were the reigning women's tag team champions at the time but were scheduled to enter into singles feuds leading up to the Hell in a Cell premium live event. Banks and Naomi reportedly wanted to focus on the tag team division and went into former EVP of talent relations John Laurinaitis office and left the titles on his desk. The two left the titles on the executive's desk and exited the Scope Arena in Norfolk, Virginia. WWE SmackDown announcer Michael Cole addressed the controversy a few days later on the Blue Brand and called their actions unprofessional and announced that they have been suspended indefinitely. Many members of the WWE Universe expected to see Banks and Naomi back in the company after Triple H gained power, but that has not come to fruition yet. After Sasha and Naomi vacated the Women's Tag Team Championships, several months passed before the tournament to crown new champions began. Alia and Raquel Rodriguez won the tournament, only to lose the titles to Damage Control's Io Sky and Dakota Kai just a couple of weeks later. Only time will tell if the former champions return to the company to go after the titles they never lost. Do you want to see Sasha Banks and Naomi return to the company? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. Unfortunate update on Veer Mahan's WWE future under Triple H While many underutilized WWE stars have returned to prominence under Triple H, a handful of talents have not been as lucky. Fightful Select reports that the promotion currently has no main roster plans for Veer Mahan and Commander Aziz. Veer Mahan was booked to go on an undefeated single streak not too long ago and was positioned as a monster heel on Monday Night Raw. Aziz was also among the big men that were pushed as he was repackaged as Apollo Crews Muslim and following WrestleMania 37. The change in management has seemingly impacted their respective runs on TV, as Veer and Aziz have since been sent back to the Performance Center. Fightful's latest report from the developmental setup revealed a backstage update regarding the physically imposing stars. While WWE does not have any imminent creative ideas for the seven feet Aziz, it was added that Veer Mahan is also not booked for any upcoming episodes of Raw. Mahan was recently spotted with former partner Sangha, and another run for the Industrial Tag Team looks like a probability. Commander Aziz was last seen at an NXT house show in July, where he teamed up with Cora Jade for a mixed tag team match. The man formerly known as Dabakato has since not been used, and the situation could remain unchanged for the foreseeable future. WWE has always had a fascination with squash matches, and Veer Mahan looked great when he, too, put together a string of one-sided wins. However, Mahan's first significant program on Raw with the Mysterio family didn't last long. Triple H came to power in July 2022 and introduced new storylines and superstars in his bid to revamp the product. Veer Mahan has become a popular name online due to a few hilarious memes, and some fans were sad to see him get pulled from the red brand. However, Booker T believes WWE made the right decision by sending Mahan to NXT as he felt the Indian star was not prepared to thrive yet on the main roster. I think it's a good thing he's back. I thought he was moved up way too quick I did not think he was ready or prepared for that main roster and the situation that he was getting himself into, Booker T revealed on his podcast. What are your predictions regarding the WWE futures of Veer Mahan and Commander Aziz? Let us know in the comments section below. AEW's Malachi Black to join Bray Wyatt's new faction Bray Wyatt is once again a trending name in wrestling after spending more than a year away from the business. WWE is leaving no stone unturned for the returning star, as rumors suggest the company was interested in getting AEW's Malachi Black for Wyatt's faction. It might be a dream scenario for the distant future. There has been a lot of speculation regarding the mysterious Wyatt 6, as the WWE universe believes a few NXT stars could be members of Bray's rumored stable. The Dyad, a faction led by Joe Gacy, has emerged as one of the acts that could work with Bray Wyatt on the main roster. Grayson Waller is another superstar who has intriguingly dropped hints of joining forces with the former. 
However, there might be some truth regarding the NXT names circulating online. As per backstage sources, others internally have said some of those are believed to be accurate but said things are up in the air. Mentioning others could be part of it. Mentioning the dyad, in particular, are possible, and other names listed are not sure things, Meltzer added. It will be interesting to see what Wyatt has in store for the fans upon his return to SmackDown on Friday night. Who do you wish to see become a part of Wyatt's reported new group? Sound off in the comments section below. AEW star thrilled about Bray Wyatt's WWE return and attacks Vince McMahon. Bray Wyatt's WWE return continues to be one of the most talked about stories in professional wrestling. Wyatt's former partner and rival Matt Hardy recently reacted to the high-profile comeback on a special episode of his podcast, where he celebrated 30 years in the business. Hardy and Wyatt featured in a compelling WWE angle several years ago, culminating in the duo winning the Raw Tag Team Championship at the Greatest Royal Rumble event. The eccentric characters also battled each other in multiple matches, including the memorable Ultimate Deletion match in 2018. Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt have shared a close bond behind the scenes ever since they worked together, and the legend was aware of how much the WWE star loved wrestling. Hardy has also previously spoken about the former Universal Champion's love-hate relationship with Vince McMahon and its impact on Bray's career. Hardy admitted that Wyatt was frustrated with the former WWE CEO's creative decisions. Matt Hardy, a pioneer of cinematic wrestling, was mainly a fan of the multi-layered presentation as it helped maximize the impact of the show closing moment. I thought the reintroduction was so amazing. I love how you have all these characters from the Firefly Funhouse, and now they are real, and they show up in real life in different parts of the arena. It was done in such a cinematic, theatrical way, I love the presentation. Bray Wyatt's reappearance has been a massive success for WWE due to the sheer amount of hype generated. Moreover, fans are busy speculating about the superstar's next move. WWE has teased the arrival of Wyatt Six, a new potential faction led by the former world champion, as the promotion reportedly has long-term plans for the group. The excitement amongst fans regarding the members' identities is palpable, and Matt Hardy, too, has his own theories about the stable, as he added. I love the reaction that it got in the fact that he came out with the lantern a nice callback to old school Bray, and then he blew it out. I love that so much, and the concept behind the Wyatt Six, who are like these six key individuals that are kind of like all within his mind, but they are all somehow real now. I like the possibilities behind this. What are your predictions for Wyatt Six? Share them in the comments section below, and also let us know how you feel about Bray Wyatt's return. Return plans for Cody Rhodes changed. Cody Rhodes has been out of action since the Raw after Hell in a Cell. The American Nightmare had to take a sabbatical to heal a torn pectoral muscle. He was initially expected to return at Royal Rumble. However, due to accelerated healing, he could be set to return by the Day 1 Premium Live event. Cody Rhodes returned to WWE at WrestleMania 38 this year. His spectacular comeback was halted due to an unforeseen injury he suffered while training for his match at Hell in a Cell against Seth Rollins. Despite the injury, Rhodes put on a five-star match against Rollins at HIAC. He was then brutally attacked by the Visionary on the following Raw and written off TV. Dave Meltzer of the Wrestling Observer has given a positive update on Rhodes' recovery, saying he is doing well and is expected to return sooner than he was initially supposed to. Rhodes appears to be a little ahead of schedule and healing. He's working with DDP. Things are normal for him in real life but obviously any upper body weights he can use are extremely light. There's no firm date for a return this early, and even when there is, I would expect it'll be kept quiet for a surprise pop. Originally the idea of Rumble looked good. Perhaps day one since it's in Atlanta and he grew up and still lives there. The former AEW superstar became the top babyface in the company soon after his comeback. While he may have yet another match against Seth Rollins after returning, Meltzer noted that he is being considered as a potential challenger for Roman Reigns next year. In time for 2023 they would have Cody Rhodes, Wyatt and Strowman, and Lashley unless Lashley beats Lesnar. Rhodes' untimely injury might have slowed his momentum, but there is no doubt that he will regain his position at the top as soon as he makes his highly anticipated return. Looking in the mirror, so foggy but I've never seen clearer. I don't really think anyone can save me and honestly I'm not really sure I want saving. I like to be my own worst enemy. There's no risk if you don't try it anything. So I'ma just get by in everything. See you in the next life. Hope to be a better me. I don't think that my head's on straight. Gotta